uh, as of 6 a.m. this morning, there were about 26,000 customers across Florida experiencing power outages. Most of those are in Hillsborough, Pinellas, and Polk counties. Uh, there are more than 10,000 restoration personnel prepared to respond to these outages as soon as it's safe to do so. In the event that counties need to provide food and water to residents, we have prepared supplies for points of distribution, including forklifts, traffic cones, tents, and other necessary items. Uh, the division uh, has staged 24 generator units, 24 water pumps, eight, five HVAC units, and 64 pieces of equipment, such as forklifts and pallet jacks used at logistical staging areas. There's not been reports of really significant structural damage uh, anywhere in Florida, fortunately, at this point. As of 7.30 this morning, no healthcare facilities have reported power outages. Uh, our Agency for Healthcare Administration is in close coordination with healthcare providers uh, and will assist with the transfer of patients if needed. Uh, as the storm passes through Florida, uh, there are some important safety precautions to remember. Uh, there are reports of flooded roads and trees down. Don't drive your vehicle into standing water. As little as 12 inches of fast moving water can carry away a small vehicle. Uh, be aware of fallen or hanging power lines. Don't approach or touch the power line. Uh, report down power lines to your electrical company as soon as you can. If your home is taken in water, don't use wet electrical devices. And if you've lost power, uh, do not use generators inside your home or inside your garage and do not put it immediately by a window with the window being open. Ca ca carbon monoxide poisoning can be life-threatening and there have been more deaths from carbon monoxide poisoning over the last four years than there have been for direct impacts in storms in Florida. And we've had some significant storms hit our state. Uh, so listen to local officials in your county health department on the safety of water supply. In the event of power outages, bottled or boiled water can be used for drinking, cooking, and personal hygiene. We're monitoring the storm as it makes landfall. We'll provide additional updates. Uh, I ask Floridians to simply be safe and use common sense. All things considered, where we looked at 72 hours ago, I think the impacts have been less than, than what we thought would be reasonable. So we're fortunate. We saw a little bit of a wobble to the west uh, when it was approaching Tampa Bay, which potentially minimized impacts there. It is gonna go into our Big Bend area. Uh, not a lot of population there, but I think we're going to be monitoring over the next uh, few days uh, how that affects the river levels and some of the potential for flooding. Northern Florida has been very saturated over the last couple of weeks, so this is going to dump a lot of rain on there and is going to exacerbate uh, any of those issues. I'm gonna